All right, well, here's how this video is starting. I am in southern Indiana, and I want to catch some smallmouth bass. I already fished a few creeks down here, but uh, I want to go somewhere different, never been before, and somewhere and try this new place. So I got on uh, online on Google and typed in best smallmouth fishing places in Indiana. There was like five places, uh, mostly around Indianapolis, but uh, I picked one. I was like, all right, well, I kind of scrolled through. I saw one that's about an hour and 20 minutes from where I'm at, so I'm gonna drive there. Never been there before, never been through this area before. Hopefully gonna go uh, find this creek, river, whatever it is, and catch some smallmouth bass. Well, this ain't quite what I was had in mind. Man, chocolate milk out here. Just been all these of rain and stuff coming from up north. I hate fishing muddy water. I feel like I'm not gonna catch anything. I mean, I, I guess I could catch them, but I hate fishing a place when I can't fish it when it's like it's normal level. So I don't know. We'll try. We'll try to find something else. Well, now that I've uh, about wasted all my daylight, I think I found a place where I can fish a creek that the water looks pretty clear. So let's go. I was a bowfin. Oh, where's the bass? Check his bass out. Oh my goodness, there's a big old bass. Didn't even want nothing to do with my swim bait. Man, this place ain't working out like I thought. The right down there off the bank, there's a, there's a couple of largemouth, at least two pounds each. Um, looks like they're getting ready to bed. I don't, I don't know what the, what it is here in Indiana or what, the, what they're doing, but they're definitely sticking to that one little area. A couple of really good bass. But this long, deep stretch through here, it's just, I can't get a thing of a bite. Hello there, Mr. Deer. Just stopping at another spot and looking at the creek, and there's a deer standing in the creek. Oh, whoa. Jumped right there, what was that? That wasn't a fish. Oh, dude, I think smacked it. Oh, a largemouth, nice. That's a lot better. Hey, hold on, hold on. I think he was eating something in that current. Okay, largemouth. Not what I thought it would catch, but I'll take it. I'll take him. Got it. What is it? What is it? Oh, we're staying down a little bit in the current. Oh, the old rock bass. I kind of thought so. He hit, hit like a rock bass. But that's two fish here in like a minute. Dude, <laughs> there's a bunch of fish over there. Third rock bass, one of that little, uh, what do you call it? Eddie over there. Oh, there he goes. Fish on. I think it's a rock bass. Yeah. Man, they're really uh really choking this um hogamite this afternoon. And that's what I was hoping. Hoping that this evening they'll just get turned on, but I need a small mouth. Oh got one. Oh, oh! Is that a small mouth? Yeah, boom! Now I've already did, I already have caught smallmouth in Indiana, but I wanted to just like go on my own and try it a few places, and, and I end up coming back to a creek that I was suggested from a couple people. 
There's a little small mouth. Boom. I've been here 16 minutes. I've already caught all these fish. Getting the right place is definitely, uh, definitely very important. Having the right place to fish. Oh yeah, that feels better. Nice. Wait, wait. Is that a rock bass? Feels good. Oh, it is a rock bass. A big rock bass. I was like, I thought I had a smallmouth for sure. That's a good rock bass. Oh, sorry, buddy. Squeeze you there. Nice. Oh, oh, oh! Dude, he, I was surprising. I was picking it up out of the water and he hit it. He was right in front of me. Okay, they are in feeding mode. They're right up in the current breaks, right up where they would be hitting something to eat. Picked it up, nice. That's a good little creek smallmouth. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, 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 did you see that? It was, I don't know if my hands were in the way. That was a, uh, a long ear. It was so colorful. It just jumped up. I saw this big old orange colorful thing. There's a fish. All right, come on. Come on over, Mr. Rock Bass. I see you. Another rock bass? Of course it is. Okay. Splashing. Well, these guys are all keyed up tonight. Could it be? Yes. Another small jaw. There we go. We got a little, a little gash in his side there, but we'll take that guy and be happy with him. I was just watching my line go take off. I knew it was a rock bass. Ah, big one though. I felt a little, the way they tug, they tug, tug, and then they'll take off with it. Or if a smallmouth gets it, he just got it on, got it in there usually. That's a big rock bass. Oh, here we go. Where's the little small mouth? Pretty little guys, though. Gotta savor these fish. <laughs> Just like five rock bass, or like maybe like ten rock bass, each small mouth. All right, time to head back upstream. Just saw a beaver or muskrat or something swimming across up there. But um, it's about to get, the sun's about to go down. Get back up to the vehicle. Oh, what we got? Oh, where's another little one? Working your way back up, casting. Pay it off. Plus, change the lure, kind of. Oh, that's the same one I caught earlier. No way. Look at that. I think it is. I think I had caught one with a gash inside, just like that. I don't know. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit better of a fish. Oh, nice. 
nice. Nice. Hoping to pick up a few more uh, on the way back up. That's the biggest one I think today. It's just a great creek fish right there. Nice. I knew there was gonna be something there. I knew, oh, that's a nice one too. Right at the very back of that pool. That's why I didn't walk up there. I cast it and just worked my lure all the way back to where that grass starts. And he was waiting there to just eat something that was coming through. I ended up catching more smallmouth towards the end here than did the whole first time. But this, uh, this swim bait, pulling out the fish, the smallmouth I think a little bit more where the rock bass are gonna be a little bit lazier hit that other lure this one I can work a lot of bigger area faster well I'm almost back up to the truck so there was a couple sections through here that looked really good it might might just have a couple more fish As you can see, I'm uh, not in Indiana anymore, back home in Tennessee, doing boring things like mowing the yard and editing videos and stuff like that. So this creek that I fished, yes, I, I had a little help uh, finding it. It was in Southern Indiana. Actually, part of it I, I'd fished before with um, Ben from Hoosier Back Outdoors, and he was telling me about another area, and then I ran into another guy who was telling me about another area. So I was like, well, let me find out this. But first I, I looked up online just, you know, I just typed in, you know, smallmouth fishing in um, Indiana, and boom, it's like right away there's a bunch of places, a bunch of places that tells you where to go. Several of them were further away, I didn't want to know. So if you're looking for places, you're like, oh, I want to find smallmouth in Indiana, look, have you tried looking online, you know, look it up, try finding places, finding rivers that maybe um, they say that they're smallmouth ends and find the creeks that feed into them. So I was glad I was able to get some. I've, I've spent four or five hours at least to do two hours of fishing, you know, it was, there's a lot of effort put into fishing, but once I found the right place and you know could get access, it paid off. Now, I will tell you this, <laughs> actually kind of got, ran out, sort of the creek. So it was this creek on the side of the road. I was like, there's, there's no problem gonna be uh, going here. Well, it ended up being, it was on, it was on a, a property of a place. It wasn't a house, it was like it's uh, this place there and this caretaker came by and he's like, you know, you're not supposed to be fishing here. But I talked to him you know, I was just telling him, you know, Brian, he was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Just go on ahead and fish. So, you know, I, I probably should have just, you know, called the guy or called, you know, looked it up. And, but, you know, sometimes it just, you, I'm going to just try a few places, but be respectful, be courteous, um, you know, a place like that. And if you can find out whose it is and ask about it, most of the time they don't have you have a problem with uh, you fishing there. I do have a few more videos uh, from Indiana. I'm going to kind of have coming out, spread out uh, over the next few weeks, probably. But um, that, that was a, Cool little creek. I, there was probably 10 rock bass I didn't show. There were so many rock bass in that creek. Well, let me get back to mowing. Gotta do that kind of stuff. Um, thanks for watching this video. 